Hey everybody, welcome to Beautiful Art by me, Rian. So today I'm just going to be doing for you guys a comparison video between these two programs, these art programs here. So I've got Corel Paint 2015 and I've also got Manga Studio 5. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a basic overall uh, difference between the two. So let's go ahead and open up these two programs for you guys. Start by opening up Manga Studio 5 so you can get a basic look. So that's what Manga Studio 5 basically looks like when you open it up. Okay, so now I'm going to open up Corel Paint. Loading the bigger program so it takes longer. Okay, so this is how this one starts up. So you've got the options here whether or not you're going to be editing a photo or just really simply painting for like a beginner so you don't have so many of these features and stuff around to confuse you. So Mung Munga Studio 5 doesn't really do that. You've got your basic setup and then that's how it is. You can change the color, you can change this sort of stuff, but it doesn't allow a whole heap of modifications. So this one allows totally different setup so if I just click on simple to show you what it looks like that's simple so it's gotten rid of all those other stuff so if you just want a beginner and you want to be able to whack out something super easy um, this is a great way of doing it just close that again and open it up in the difference between the two painting um, layouts but yeah this is just also the extra features in the desktop one here, it's sort of like you can customize it to make it look how you want it to look. So it's pretty basic looking, but you can add more windows and all this sort of stuff. Like if you go up to here, you can just click and add these in here. See, because you got control Z to go back, but it's annoying for some people. So you can have this up, so you can just hit back here, which makes it easier. Munga Studio 5 has these features automatically just up here it's automatically there. You don't have to worry about it. So this takes a little bit of just setting up how you want it to look. And once you've got it, how you want it to look, you could save it and you can just come in and create in your own space how you want it to look, which is great. And I love that feature where Munga Studio 5 is stuck. This is sort of how you've got it to look. You can make stuff bigger and smaller and come out further sort of thing but they're not free flowing. You can't move them around. You can hit these little tabs and bring out more stuff. So it's more of a basic comic book design program than a full on art program. Like you've only got these standard brushes here for, you know, when you click on oils, you've got three brushes that you can use. What I love about here, you click on here, click on brushes, and you've got all of these. What I love about this program too is it actually shows you, oops, sorry, <laughs> I clicked on it, shows you underneath here how it's going to react with other colors. There's so many different textures, you know, like this one here would be great for doing hair. So it just makes it simple and easy to use. Yeah, and then you've got all these different tools where Munga Studio, open that one back up, just has, you know, your simple one, two, three. So you got your pen, your pencil, and your paintbrush. With your paintbrush, you've got your watercolors, oils, and inks, and that's all you've sort of got. Where go back to Corel Paint, you've got all of these to choose from, depending on whether or not you want to paint, you want to airbrush, you know, you want to. You can go down here, and there's even sponges and stuff. So just to give you all these different sort of textures, which is great. So it gives you just more to use, more to work with, which I find lovely. Okay, so I've just opened up both programs side by side so you guys can look on how they both look right next to each other. I'm going to be doing the exact same picture as you can see here in both programs so you guys can get an idea and a look to see how both programs work. So Munga Studio 5 is 
designed for comic books where Corel paint is designed for painting just about anything. So I've tried to stay with using the same brushes in both programs and just to show you the difference on how they interact with one another's colors, how they look, how they um, flow. So I'm using right now both programs watercolor. And like I said here, I'm actually using the wolf's eye and then using the eye drop tool selecting the colour I want and then painting straight onto the canvas with that exact colour which is really great for if you're doing a portrait art for somebody they want to make sure you get the colours and everything right so as you can just see straight off here how much the textures and everything in the wolf just look amazing we're in this like Still comic book style. Um, I'll just speed it up for you guys a bit more. To see what I'm doing. So here, I've literally picked um, this thin brush here. Let's see where my and I'm got it down right to thin point, and then literally drawing each individual hair, which takes forever to do. Up again, so you can see I'm drawing each individual hair. Okay, and on this one here, as you can see, it's all soft and really awesome looking, where it looks more real like a wolf. And the eyes of the human side, but I'm using the exact same colors of the wolf. So I just go with that so it at least blends and you still got the same eyes. I've changed the image now to a wolf that's growling, and again, using the image to get the color of the gums and everything. Where here, I'm kind of just got to make it up. You can't have the little image and select the colors you want. Okay, so I've changed the wolf again to one with more um, browns in the fur coat rather than just doing it all black because I do still want to make the face merge across like I've done here. It merges across. Okay, so I went ahead and finished this side of the wolf and this colouring that I chose because it was matching this but I decided to redo it again for you guys and keep it the same colour as what I did in Monga Studio 5 so you can more see the similarity from the two programs. So I've dragged it into my little drop box up here and I'm just eye dropping the same colours I used here on this artwork as well so they stay similar. BB guys, you can see here's all the brushes and textures. Um, so I just went ahead and did it more blocky style just because get it done quickly. So I just pretty much lay out the colors where I want and then I pick my blend tool. So there you have it, same work as art, side by side, so you get an idea of how both programs work and the outcome. So if you wanted to draw more like a comic book artist, I would definitely go with Monkey Studio 5, but if you want more realism and more brushes and just more of a canvas feel to your painting, I would go with Corel Paint. So I hope this video has helped you choose what program you want to go with. Thank you guys for watching.